Welcome to our exploration of the fascinating world of Artificial Neural Networks, or ANS for short. These intriguing systems inspired by our own brain structure consist of interconnected neurons organized into layers. Each neuron carries a certain weight and bias, contributing to an output that's often run through an activation function. This structure allows ANS to recognize patterns and make predictions, much like our own brain does when processing information. Now that we've covered the basics, we will dive into the intricate workings of these networks. ANS work in a truly unique way, mimicking the human brain. Just as our brain consists of interconnected neurons, artificial neural networks, or ANS, are made up of layers of interconnected artificial neurons. These neurons have associated weights and biases, with weights indicating the strength of the connection between neurons and biases, helping to adjust the output along with the weights. Now these neurons don't just pass on what they receive, they process the input using something called an activation function. This function decides whether a neuron should be activated or not, based on the weighted sum of its inputs. Commonly used activation functions include the rectified linear unit, or ReLU, and the sigmoid function. The ReLU function gives an output of zero for negative inputs and the same value for positive inputs. On the other hand, the sigmoid function outputs a value between zero and one, making it especially useful for models where we need to predict the probability as an output. Understanding these concepts gives us a deeper insight into the magic of ANS but there's more to it. As with any technology, ANs also come with their own set of challenges. One of the key concepts in training ANs is backpropagation. This is a widely used algorithm that adjusts weights and biases in the network to minimize error. Think of it like a feedback system, where the network learns from its mistakes. However, the learning process in deep neural networks can be hindered by problems known as the vanishing and exploding gradient. In simple terms, these are situations where the calculated gradients are either too small or too large, disrupting the learning process. The vanishing gradient problem makes the network forget earlier layers while the exploding gradient problem makes the weight values exponentially large, causing instability. But don't worry, the AI community has devised some techniques to mitigate these issues. For instance, weight initialization is a strategy to start the network with optimal initial weights, reducing the chance of encountering these gradient issues. Another technique is gradient clipping, which simply caps the gradient to a maximum value to prevent it from exploding. Despite these challenges, ANs prove to be extremely powerful tools in the field of AI and machine learning. Let's delve into the diverse world of ANs. There are various types of artificial neural networks, each with unique capabilities and purposes. For instance, autoencoders, which are unsupervised neural networks, are used to learn efficient data codings. They are particularly handy when dealing with the dimensionality reduction, simplifying complex data while preserving its essence. Generative adversarial networks, or JANs, are another type of AN. These are often used in creating new data that mimics the input data, making them perfect for tasks like generating realistic images or enhancing low-resolution photos. Self-organizing maps, or SOMs, are used for clustering, categorizing similar data into groups. SOMs are particularly useful in visualizing high-dimensional data. And finally, there's restricted Boltzmann machines, or RBMs. These are used for dimensionality reduction as well as reconstructing missing parts of input data. All these types of ANs operate without labeled target outputs, making them a powerful tool for unsupervised learning. As we can see, ANs are versatile and play a crucial role in shaping the future of AI. Artificial neural networks have truly revolutionized the field of AI and machine learning. They've given us the power to recognize patterns and make predictions, thanks to their intricate structure of interconnected neurons, weights, biases, and activation functions. Despite the challenges in training them, such as the vanishing and exploding gradient problems, solutions like weight initialization and gradient clipping have been developed. And let's not forget the diverse types of ANs like autoencoders, JANs, SOMs, and RBMs, each with unique applications in data science. We hope you now have a better understanding of artificial neural networks and their contribution to the development of AI. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Before we wrap up, we'd like to remind you how much your support means to us. It's your curiosity and thirst for knowledge that keeps us going. To ensure you don't miss out on any of our future content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot more insightful videos on AI and machine learning coming your way. Hit that bell icon too, so you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you found this video helpful, we'd appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends 
who might be interested in learning about artificial neural networks. Remember, your support fuels our efforts to provide you with quality content. Thank you once again, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.